Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 18 moving forward. In today's episode, we set out to continue the hop figures, as we call them, these hop figures over here, and then to try them with recorder timbres. And we did that. Uh, we also did some reflection and we were thinking some more about how these scores have all these uh, flying trails of annotations there and we were saying wouldn't it be great if we could if we could animate this so that it would you know as you played across like this it would just scroll to the right and and you'd see these trails going on there and so we tried this way of doing it but we said we don't like that we want it to be moving while we see those trails moving while we see those trails so that wasn't working and then we said well maybe we could do it as a midi file like this oh my god We said, no, 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 this shows all the notes, but the notes are going up and down. We want the notes to go right to left, and we want to see their annotations, and the MIDI is not showing their annotations, although we love our MIDI animation. So we said, what are we trying to do? And we found a word for it. It's called concrete poetry. So concrete poetry is a thing. It's verse that emphasizes a non-linguistic elements, such as a typeface that creates a visual image. And we looked up some examples. So here's a poem about a cat in the shape of a cat. And here's a poem in the shape of a, a mouse's tail. And uh, here's a, it looks like a martini glass or something and like that. So there, it is a thing, it is a thing. So I said, great. So what we wanna do is we wanna have, <laughs> We want to have some kind of flying animation score, and that means we're going to have to look for ways to do that, because so far, the tools we've got, in other words, the score itself is a visual art. And we're kind of inspired by, by that challenge. Some things are challenges that don't inspire us, but that one kind of does inspire us. But to get back to what we did with the recorders and the hop lines and so forth, this is what the shadow uncommon minor sounds like in piano. So that's kind of pretty, we thought. And we said, what if we do it with recorders? Let's see where it says recorder there. The same figure. So we kind of like that. Remember, we had watched that video where two recorders, treble recorders, are playing. Um, they were playing duets with each other, and they were playing a duet with a string orchestra, and we were really inspired by that. And we didn't have anything composed at that point that would have allowed two recorders to kind of play a duet like that. Um, the other thing that we liked is uh, we compared the, this is the shadow uncommon minor and the major. And as usual, there should always be a mood difference between them. So we were listening to this. And we keep remarking how subtle that difference that is because it's a there's an E flat in here and an E in here. And that is the only major difference between those two, major minor difference between those two scales. And yet it will play out when you get down to different hop figures. However, it's a lot more evident if we pop on down to the other scales that we particularly enjoyed listening to with the recorders. If we put on the left hand side here, the light minor scale, and on the right hand side, a 
Okay, that's not what we wanted. We wanted that. Uh, what did we want? We wanted the. Okay, that was too far up. Light minor. We wanted the light major. Here it is. 65. Make a note. Make a note. So if we compare these, and these are the same figures, this is a hop one up, hop one down, we get this. Kind of pretty. And then, so uh, those are the lights, and then if we go to the darks, the dark miners, just down here, bing, bang, bing, bang, boom. Dark miner, and this one, there it is, 90, there it is. Okay, now listen to this. And in the major mode. Very different. And it's just simply because of the nature of the five notes and the and the extent to which they overlap, which is uh, makes a huge difference. So that kind of concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time is to continue the hop figures and the the hop figures with uh, recorder. Not next time here down here. Um, Try, we also identified a couple themes that we liked, some new themes, and um, look at composing, contrasting the dark minor and dark major. That would be a wonderful thing to do. So tune in next time. We look forward to seeing you. We appreciate, as always, your time, attention, and interest. A shout out to resident bed warmer again for his conversing with us today. It always goes more quickly with fellow interested musicians. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>